I'm getting to a point where I know that we're going to be in close games every night because it just seems to be the way with this basketball team now. Um, South Dakota State's a really good team. Obviously, being undefeated in the league and preseason favored and you know going to the NCAA tournament four years in a row. I felt like our kids came out and, and executed a game plan perfectly. I felt like they played really, really hard and once again found a way to put themselves in position to win. Um, but unfortunately, things didn't quite go our way down the stretch. A um, couple missed shots. They made a couple big shots. And then obviously the, the lack of being able to get one rebound at the end. And you lose a game by two in, in a game where I felt like, if you look at it, we pretty much controlled. Um, so it stings. It stings whenever you lose, but it definitely stings when, when you had control late and you lose at the buzzer. So um, all I know how to do is, is take tomorrow off and go back to work on Monday and, and get ready for Thursday's game. Is there something you can take, I mean, from the fact that you aren't going to make it to the NCAA tournament by winning today's game? but what it does show you is that you can play with this team when it comes to tournament time? Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with that. Um, but at some point, this team, myself included, because we're all in this together, have to find ways to close games out. You know, th there's two teams leading this conference right now, South Dakota State and IUPUI. We had them both beat with a minute to go, and we made a couple crucial mistakes, and they made a couple big shots. Um, you know, that's now six, six losses by single digits. You know, the Omaha game we had and down the stretch. So, we, yeah, we can take things from it, but we still have to understand that we got to play 40 minutes, not 36, not 37, heck, not 39, 59. We got to play 40 minutes right now. Very frustrating, especially since it's South Dakota State. I mean, you know, they're the ones that everybody wants to beat. So, um, and the fact that it came down to one stop and we couldn't, we didn't get that stop. So it's very frustrating, um, but the beauty of it is we get to play them again. So um, we'll just have to come back and, you know, bounce back, play Thursday, get on Thursday and Saturday and win. The positives are that we're proving that we can play with anybody in this league. And from here on out, we're planning on trying to, I mean, there's not a game left on the schedule we can't win. And I know that we're going to come back and we're going to continue to be in close games after close games. And at some point, this young team, and obviously they are young, at some point this young team's going to figure out how to get the stop when they need to get the stop, you know, hit that big bucket late when you need to hit it, and then it's going to snowball. And, and I, I can't tell you it's going to be Thursday, I can't tell you it's going to be Saturday, but at some point it is going to happen. And the beauty of everything that's happening right now, and you know, we don't want to talk about it, but the beauty, because I don't want to rush it, but the beauty of what's happening right now is we don't lose a soul. This whole basketball team comes back, and if we keep putting ourselves in the fire and keep going close game after close game after close game, we're going to become a really, really good basketball team here soon.